God, one thank you once again to have your father by your spirit. And we just may come into your presence, we God, give you thanks. Just want to thank you for your son Jesus and you sent the guy from the cross that we may write. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Had a trip real life, oh God. I just want to thank God for another day. Thank God for opportunity that we can come to your presence, God, that we can give thanks to heaven for us, that we actually bless us in this service, oh God. That everything we do, we'll do it to that glory, to that honor, oh God. We won't be mama that don't know your partner the sins. We ask that you would test their hearts, that they may say, What must I do to be saved? We ask you to bless all the sick. Thank you for the best of them may be on the way here. We ask that you give them place that. We will be so mindful just to give you all things. Praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Jealous for his name, and pity his people. One day, for 
Christ, and it shall come to pass afterward. And it shall come to pass afterwards. Then I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants. And also upon the servants. And the handmaids. And the handmaids. In those days. In those days. When I pour out my spirit. May the Lord have a blessing. Second night of fasting as well as prayer. Can you give God thanks and praise for the second night? Thank God for his goodness and his mercy. Praise God for his wonderful grace that he has bestowed upon each and every one of us. Thank God for our former leaders that have gone on before us and our late founder, our Wills, and our late bishop, Bishop Hawkins. We praise God for them. And then giving honor to my dear wife and family. Saints of the Most High, so happy to see you in God's house on tonight. Pressing your way out. Yes. Amen. It's a pressing yes. way. Yes. Amen. I'm happy to see you, though. Amen. Honoring God. Amen. Honoring His holy word. Um, I'm going to lift up a, a word of prayer. Then we're going to go to Philippians. And tonight, we will go over to the book of Joshua, the seventh chapter. Let's have a word of prayer. God, we thank you for... Uh, this day, this is the day which you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. God, we thank you for, again, life and health. Great portion of our health and strength. Thank you, God, for um, your goodness that you have bestowed upon us on today. God, we thank you, God, for um, sending Jesus Christ who came, died for our sins, delivered us, oh God, set us free. And God, we're so happy tonight. Oh God, even as we found in the second day of fasting as well as prayer, God, we are so uh, enjoying you. And I pray, God, as we are in this season, God, that we continue to cry and say, Spare thy people, Lord, and get not the yeah. to reproach. 
For God, do not let the heathen have rule over us. You said that you would be jealous for your land, and you would pity your people. And we are your people, and we are standing in the need of your pity, your mercy, of oh God, your grace, of oh God. We just pray, God, that you just continue to pour out, of oh God, your mercy upon the people of God, of oh God, as we're in these days and times that we are living in, of oh God, dangerous, perilous times, of oh God, there's earthquakes in diverse places, of oh God, there's wars and rumors of wars, of oh God, we've seen what you said in your word is taking place, and God, we pray that we just stand in a holy place, of oh God, and we will stand ready, of oh God, for when you send Jesus, of oh God, so we pray, of oh God, that each one on the sound of my voice, of oh God, even on tonight, of oh God, if they're not ready, of oh God, that they will get ready on tonight, of oh God, that they will call on you, of oh God, say, Lord, and their Savior, God, we thank you, God, for the guests that came to worship with us, of oh God, on this evening, we pray, God, that that's something we will say have done will we not point them to us oh god will point them to you so yes, father we pray for our children we pray for our relations our marriages of god oh god our, our, our family of god oh god we're praying for our unsaved children of god oh god our, our, our grandchildren those are grandchildren nieces and nephews of god we're just praying that you just come by in a mighty way during this period of fasting as well as prayer god as you've given us oh god a thing just to work on us oh god just work on us oh god you said that judgment will begin at the house of god yes. And God, let it first begin with us, oh God. So we thank God that we all want you to work on us, oh God, during these days, oh God, in the days that we're, oh God, ahead of God. So lead God and direct us by your precious spirit. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. amen. The word of God says in Philippians, the first chapter and the sixth verse, being confident of in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. We praise God as we were praying that God would still be asking that you work on me, Jesus. Amen. How many want Jesus to still work on you? Amen. Work on me, Jesus. I don't need to look to my left or to my right, but Lord, just work on me. Amen. I praise God. If y'all don't mind, hey, we say so mind turning into your Bibles to the book of Joshua tonight. The book of Joshua. Joshua, the seventh chapter. Thank God again that you are here. Amen. I did not get a chance to watch the news, but someone texted me and said that some missiles and stuff were flying over between Iran and Israel. And, um, and I just texted the person back to say, stay ready. Amen. Just stay ready. I, I don't know the day, nor the hour. I don't know, amen, what is going on right there, but it's all in God's plan and God and God's uh, perfect will for the world. And so, for us, we must stay in a posture of being ready for when Jesus Christ comes. And so I pray that we all will be ready. Tonight, I want to encourage you, um, and through the book of Joshua, as we're talking about working on us individually, I want to look at the book of Joshua, the seventh chapter, and I'm going to read the 20th and the 21st verse, and then we'll take our thoughts from there. The Word of God says, And Achan answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel. And thus, and thus have I done. When I saw among the spools of a goodly Babylonian garment and the two hundred shekels of silver and a wedge of gold of fifty shekels weight, then I coveted them and took them, and behold, they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent, and the silver under it. I want to preach from the subject matter as we're asking God to work on us on all during this period, this period of fasting as well. But on the subject matter tonight, simply don't be an aching. Don't be an aching. God had blessed his people, as you all know the story, how they had journeyed uh, coming out of the wilderness and blessed them to come over to the promised land. And they're starting to conquer uh, different people groups and they're they had just conquered Jericho, which was a mighty people group, and God had blessed them to uh, win that battle at Jericho. And how we praise God that we know that we are a blessed people. Yeah. Yeah. God has 
blessed us and given us victories over so many things that in our life. We praise God. We are blessed many. Uh, we praise God how he has made us the head and not the tail. We praise God for as we pray often, we praise God for life and the great portion of our health and strength. I talk to some of my my, my, my um, loved ones, my, um, my um, family members, and they look at the saints and, they, and it's so true. You look at it, the saints sometimes, you say, look like they've been that way all their life. You look like, amen, God has preserved us and kept us. I know sometimes the aches and pains don't feel like that. How many know God been good to us, y'all? God's been so faithful to us. God's been so, amen. He said, honored his word toward each and every one of us. And here are the truths of Israel pressed through the land. They have conquered Jericho. Now, amen, Joshua has, amen, charged just a couple of thousand of his troops to go to this small, amen, little city city of AI, amen, to conquer these people of AI, and God's people are defeated. They are defeated. Joshua, amen, if you read the whole chapter, the Bible talks about how he ripped his clothes, his clothes and how, amen, how, amen, many were killed, and God's people were defeated, amen, after winning all these great victories, and they have now faced the defeat of this little small city of Ai. Oh, the seventh chapter in that round right about that first verse, the Bible tells us, he says, but the children of Israel committed a trespass and, 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 and the accursed thing for Achan. The seventh chapter, the first verse says, the children of Israel committed a trespass, and amen. He says, in a, in a curse they simply for Achan. I want to encourage this church on tonight, amen, as we're asking God to work on us, that you and I make up in our mind that we're not going to be an Achan. You see, Achan was, amen, amongst the children of God, and he has seen all that God had done. He was there when they conquered Jericho. God, he has seen the mighty works of God, amen, but then he got selfish. He got secular. He got secretive. Uh, amen. You should remember those Achan. Amen. He has seen the mighty works of God. What God had done in the midst of God's people. How God made ways out of nowhere. How God opened doors for Amen. God's people. And when we are honest in God's house, or tonight, how many of God has made ways for us? How many of God has opened doors for us? God has made ways out of nowhere. And amen. He healed us when we got sick. When we was broke, he paid our bills, y'all. When we had trouble, he got made, gave us peace in the midst of storm. How I many of we serve a good God? But don't allow the spirit of aching to creep in you. Work on me, Jesus. I don't want to have a spirit of secularism that I, I'm not satisfied with what God has done. Uh, God, I know you've done some good things in my life, but I, I start to look on the other side and think it's something better that I got to have. How many of God has given you what you need? Yeah. And the Bible says, but my God yeah. shall supply all your need yeah. according to his riches and glory. And we got to learn how to be content yeah. in the state in which we find ourselves to be. Well, now, okay, now Amen. He was not satisfied and he became secular, thought that he needed something else, but he became secretive. Hmm. You're in trouble when you think that, amen, your sins don't affect everybody else. Can the Bible talk about how your sins will find you out? And how many know, amen, the Bible says, amen, that, amen, he was secretive and that he thought he was going to get by. Amen. They're going to get quiet. Yeah. How many know God sees all? Yeah. And God knows all? Yeah. Amen. He was secular, but he was, he was secretive. And amen. He was, he was, he was dissatisfied. And, and I just want to pull out a few more things about Achan. Amen. The Bible says, it. hey, read about that first verse. The Bible says, he says that the, the children of Israel committed a trespass 
Amen. And they curse things for Achan. He said, the son of Cameron, the son of uh, Zabidi, Z- 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 I got it, the son of Zerah, the, the tribe of Zero. They said, the tribe of Judah took the accursed thing. And uh, simply because they took, he took the accursed thing, he said, the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. Just because Achan, the one that was in the camp, just one individual that was in the camp, that was secret, secular, that had, had all these selfish ways about he and himself, amen, the camp could not move. And, and then ask yourself the question about your house. And ask yourself, amen, if I got something going on in my house that I got to get out. Yeah. Don't go to sleep on me yet. Yeah. If there's something in that going on maybe in my marriage, in my relationship with my brother or my sister, then I, then I think that I'm getting by and the camp can't move. You can't move because you think that you're getting by. He says they had an accursed thing amongst the children of Israel. The Bible says that Joshua sent men from Jericho and Y'all can read the rest and they return. The second verse said, let not, it says, let not all the people go up. And it's talking about going to Ai. And the Bible says, and right about that fifth verse, when the men of Ai smoke of them, about 30 and six men. And I was thinking, sometimes we think that we we live in isolation and, and solos and silos. And, and, all, and what you do don't affect everybody else. But church, that's why I encourage everybody yeah. to stay right, yeah. be right, yeah. amen, stay in, amen, the light of, amen, the holiness of God, amen, because yeah. what you do affects yeah. things in your house, yeah. and how many know it affects the church of God, yeah. that we don't want to be, be a reproach, amen, to God, to God's house, amen, but you also want the blessings to continue to flow in your house. Yeah, man. Yeah. The Bible says in. 36 men lost their lives. 36 families were affected because simply because AI, I mean, Aiken decided to do what he wanted to do. The Bible says, well, they had chased them from, from the gate even to Shebron and smoked them, amen, to the going down. Wherefore, the hearts of the people melted and became as water. If you're with me as we're talking about, amen, Lord, work on me. And I want us all to say, Lord, please work on me. That if there's something that is in me, Lord, please show it to me. Because I want to walk in the blessings of God. I don't want to stop the blessings in God's house. And I don't want to stop the blessings in my house. So what happened to Aiken? What went on with him? Number one, y'all, amen, how many know we must realize, amen, that we cannot rationalize sin? Yeah. How many 